Alright, what's going on guys and welcome back. This is a quick guide dedicated to the new skins present within Coromon, how to obtain them, how to earn uh, gems in order to buy them, and this is a console specific guide. However, a lot of uh, what I talk about should be relevant on mobile, but mobile you do have the option of, uh, I, I believe, purchasing gems with in-game in currency, but that's not the case on console, at least from what I could tell. So, um, what you have to do in order to unlock the ability to even look at the style shop is you have to go into the shop, talk to the shopkeeper. Once you do, he'll give you a little dialogue snippet about uh, how there's a remote shopping experience, and it'll unlock this tab on your pause menu. Once you select style shop, you'll have two options, character clothing and Coromon skins. So if we hit Coromon skins, basically you can make Coromon look different, right? So there's, I, I guess, what are considered like the first level ones, which are just um, like the cheapest ones. There's Emerald Shimshell. We got Pink Gla Glacikid. That This is actually a new Coromon that was added via this update. Uh, you got a Pink Bitty Bolt, and then you got Spectre Squidly. You move over. These are some of the more, uh, I guess, mid-tier ones. There's a lot of swarmy ones, which I think are dope. I kind of wonder, I don't know if this is the case, I'd have to double check and look into it, but it'd be cool if you could like use uh, a Humby, but make it look like a Swarmy. I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, there's some skins for Swarmy, you got, uh, this one came for free, uh, you got um, the above ground versions of Mothal, Chunky Megalobite, and some others, right? Uh, and then if you go to this one, these are like the, I guess the most expensive ones, um, the Patterbit one, this looks dope, uh, the whole line, right? Uh, you got you got Galactic Tortuga line, uh, Grizzly Cub Zero line, uh, Orca Nibblegar, which I think is one of the coolest ones. And so, so that's a couple of those. These are for the starters, all, all of them, essentially. Uh, and if you go up to the top corner, it's going to tell you how do you earn gems. Uh, style crystals can be earned by playing online battles in a trader hub. When you win a ranked battle in Coronet, when a ranked season ends and you've secured a place in the leaderboard, that's not the only way. Uh, and then... This explains that if you purchase something on one of your accounts, it'll work for all of your accounts. So even if only one of your save files has uh, the Orca Megalobite, let's say, it'll transfer over. So if you want to use these gems, they work across all save files, which I think is dope. Now, this isn't 100% accurate. There is another way to earn miles, or sorry, uh, style. What, what, I don't even know what these are called. These crystals, okay? There's another way to earn crystals besides online PvP. I was a little worried about that being the case because online PvP isn't for everyone, right? Um, you can also do it through milestones. You don't get a ton, but you do get some. So each day, you'll be given... This is a new feature, by the way. There's a daily milestone feature. Each day, um, there'll be new challenges. And as the week progresses, you'll be able to earn more. Oh, they're called style crystals, by the way. So, okay, this is how it works. You go, You get... Each of these, you get the value, and then you get a, you get five bonus for completing the daily challenge. If you do all of the daily challenges every day, they'll uh, give you a weekly bonus. So I played Coromon, I got five. If I use a trait formator on Donor Island, I'll get 15. If I ride a mine card, I'll get five. And these are different every single day. Don't get these confused with the regular milestones, which aren't daily, and uh, or th the rewards. This is separate. This is completely separate. Um... And yeah, th there is also one other thing that I noticed. If you go to character clothing, you can actually change the skin of your character, which I think is really cool. So there's like a Woobian one, and then there's just some like weird colored ones, right? Like like neon character colors. There's also uh, different types of like hats and stuff you can get. This one's actually free uh, because of the uh, update. So we'll obtain that real quick. Bam. Then uh, you got some of these. So it's under character clothing, which was an option. I, I, I thought there was a, I thought it would have been under a different option for the skins for the character. But it's under character clothing, so you didn't have to go back to the uh, main menu. Uh, and then there's a couple like full body outfits here, which I think are kind of like this Gosslime one's pretty jokes. And then they, they also change based on uh, there's different potential versions. So, you know, pretty cool stuff in general. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Very quick guide on how the skins work. Um, if you're playing on mobile and you've had a chance to actually dive into um, how the skins work on there, definitely let me know if you've noticed any differences. This is a console-specific guide. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.